realize which side you can trust. Unacceptable. I, for one, cannot wait. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Now at 3 o'clock, authorities offer more details into a terrifying sexual assault on a hiking trail as they take action in hopes of keeping other hyper hikers safe. The trial for a Canadian rapper gets underway here in L.A. His alleged victim, fellow rapper Megan the Stallion. Plus, a plea deal and sentencing day for the man who shot Lady Gaga's dog walker, taking off with their French bulldogs. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Colleen Sullivan. And I'm Ellen Leva. You're watching Eyewitness News at 3 live on ABC7, Hulu, and wherever you stream. It happened along the Holland Drive near Encino, a woman hiking on a trail when she was sexually assaulted. More than two weeks later, her attacker is still at large, and police need your help finding him. Our Carlos Granda is live now with more. Carlos? Well, that's right, and this sexual assault happened at noon in broad daylight here along this trail, and as you might imagine, that has a lot of people here very alarmed. Police have been working on this for several weeks, but now they're asking for the public's help to find the attacker. It's a popular hiking trail along Mulholland Drive with a beautiful view, and this attack has frightened the community. I was really disturbed. I didn't know until today that this had happened. I hike here all the time. I mountain bike here all the time. It's really close to my homes, my local trails. It happened back on November 21st. A woman was hiking in the area when the suspect came up from behind, forced her to a secluded area, and sexually assaulted her. Our victim was hiking on the trails when she was approached um, and then taken off, off trail, where she was then sexually assaulted. Um, the suspect did have a knife um, with him at the time the crime was committed, though he didn't use the knife um, during the commission of the crime. Officials aren't sure of the exact location of the attack, but they say it was somewhere between Tampa and Reseda along Mulholland. The suspect is described as a whiter Hispanic male, about 30 years old, with a two-inch scar on his right forearm. Police say any information could provide clues. Many times people see things and it... it it seems suspicious to them and they imprint it in their mind and they see something. Quite often those clues and tips cobbled together will assist us greatly in this investigation. And police are asking people to hike with someone else and to let others know where they are. Despina de Mesquita says she is doing just that. I texted my boyfriend and let him know exactly which trail I'm doing and, um, and then I'm going to let him know when I'm back in my car and safe. Now, officials say there are going to be extra patrols in the area, and police are also talking to hikers here, urging them to be alert and careful when they're on this trail. Reporting live from Encino, I'm Carlos Granda, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Carlos, thank you. Jury selection is underway in a downtown L.A. courtroom as a rapper goes on trial in the shooting of Megan the Stallion. Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cordero has a preview of the case. The case to resolve who shot Megan the Stallion in the foot at a house party more than two years ago now comes down to the next two weeks. The 27-year-old rapper first spoke out about the Hollywood Hills shooting in a now-deleted July 2020 Instagram post. She didn't name the shooter until about a month later. Megan people trying to frame me for a shooting, but them boys ain't cleaning up. Canadian rapper Tory Lanez, whose legal name is Daystar Peterson, is the defendant in this case. He has pleaded not guilty to the charges, which include assault with a semi-automatic firearm and carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle. He has also denied them in the opening song of his album, released two months after the shooting. I would never put you in no danger, and if I did, you would have said it when you seen the cops. Megan Thee Stallion did not immediately report what happened to police and explained why in a 2020 New York Times op-ed. In it, she wrote, quote, my initial silence about what happened was out of fear for myself and my friends. Even as a victim, I have been met with skepticism and judgment. She was also worried about how the police would handle what happened at the time. During pretrial hearings, an LAPD detective testified, quote, she was afraid that there had been recent police shootings, and she described her concern for the police possibly shooting the defendant since he had just committed a shooting, end quote. Testimony in the actual trial before a jury is set to start in one week. In downtown Los Angeles, Christiane Cordero, ABC7 Eyewitness News. 
Today is the first official day on the job for LA County's newest elected sheriff, Robert Luna. He was greeted by deputies and other members of his department following his swearing in ceremony this weekend. The former Long Beach police chief is now the 34th sheriff of LA County. Last month, Luna defeated incumbent Sheriff Alex Villanueva. Luna is now in charge of the nation's largest sheriff's department with more than 18,000 sworn officers and staff. Discharge the duties upon which I'm about to enter. Congratulations, Supervisor And that was newly elected LA County Supervisor Lindsay Horvath being sworn yeah, into office in downtown LA. Horvath, a former mayor and council member in West Hollywood, takes over the third district seat vacated by Sheila Kuehl. She is the youngest ever elected woman to her position. Meantime, Supervisor Hilda Solis sworn in for her third term in office in the first district. Solis also served in both the Assembly and State Senate before moving to Congress and later becoming Secretary of Labor. The man who shot Lady Gaga's dog walker and stole her dogs will spend time behind bars for the crime. James Howard Jackson pleaded no contest to one count of attempted murder as part of a plea deal. He was then sentenced to 21 years in prison. Jackson was just one of several men charged in the incident. Detectives do not believe the men knew the dogs were Lady Gaga's, nor do they think there was any connection with the singer. Convicted attorney Michael Avenatti has been sentenced to 14 years in prison for defrauding clients of millions of dollars. Avenatti already serving time for convictions in cases involving Nike and Stormy Daniels. Eyewitness News reporter Jessica DeNova is live in Santa Ana with the latest. Jessica. Today we saw a very different side of Michael Avenatti. He even grew emotional at one point as he tried to convince the judge 14 years in prison would not give him enough time to have a second chance at life after completing that sentence, but his tears were not enough to persuade the judge. The ones boasting.